guys, so today I woke up, you know, brushed my teeth, had a cup of coffee, you know, had a good day, got on, did some streams, and in the middle of the stream, I could not contain my excitement. So, I knew it was going to have tournaments, but I didn't know it was going to have it so soon. By the way, Season 1 of League Play does start in one day, alright? And, uh, so don't miss your opportunity to rank up so you can play in League, but boys, boys and girls, they've announced it, okay? They are having a tournament for EU and North America. 10,000 for North America, 5,000 for EU, I think 62 teams. Hold up, let me put up the screenshot right now of the information that Knockout City posted on Twitter earlier today. And when you look at that, it can't get any better. I'm going to read it off for you guys. At Knockout City, sign ups live now. Sign up to participate in the NA or EU, North America or, or Europe community tournament. 64 teams will enter, but only one will take home the grand prize in each region. 10,000 in North America, 5,000 in EU. Like, guys, this is crazy. They even have, like, a, a, a sign-up sheet and everything. This is crazy, and I'm so hyped for this. Tell me what you guys think, alright? Now, guys, I said I'm going to keep up to date with everything, so everything that does come out, I will be sure to upload it. I will upload a lot of updates and patches. And my friend keeps telling me that, yes... This game is 3v3, the biggest it goes through is 3v3, but he did say that they are working on giving a 4v4, or 6v6, or even eventually an 8v8. Imagine that 16 people on the field, that's crazy, but I'm all here for it, you know, this game is a lot of fun, I think it goes pretty far. Now, I made a video earlier saying how this is the best game to come out in the COVID season and out of the COVID era and I firmly believe that you know with literally Cyberpunk 22 or 20, 2077 whatever it was called Cyberpunk in general being a flop and a huge letdown Assassin's Creed Valhalla came out during the COVID era but that's not a multiplayer game and I think that kept a lot of people occupied for about a month if that, just in time for these other single player releases to drop. Uh, I guess Warzone, Modern Warfare has kept people busy, but I mean, no disrespect for those people. You know, I'm not a shooter fan. I just got into shooters recently. I just, you know, same old, same old. Did you get that? You know, same old, same old with Call of Duty games. You know, this is the reason why they sort of died down a little bit and sort of mainstream. But, you know, I guess that can count, but I think Warzone, if I'm not mistaken, came out a little bit before the lockdowns and stuff happened. I might be wrong on that, but that's, I, I think so. Uh, GTA ain't releasing nothing, you know. Rockstar's not releasing nothing new. They're barely updating their games. In terms of multiplayer, and like keeping us with, like, a multiplayer, yeah, like, companies have not really released anything, and EA has once again done it with this game and I am so happy for it and I'm there for every single bit of it. This is to me it's gonna it's already kicked off a lot. You know, it's the kicked off a lot. Now I know the only problems that I keep seeing over on Twitter is that oh they're having problems somewhat with their uh, Xbox. I'm hoping that will be fixed soon. I don't want no console to have a bad thing because this game is cross platform. So it makes me wonder how the terminus will be. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to be participating in a tournament. I'm going to work my way up to be good enough to participate in a tournament, hopefully one day. But right now, no. Uh, I just started. I mean, do I have... I mean, a lot of people just started, but oof. I, I don't have a team. Uh, most of my friends say that they feel like if they is a tournament, they would get destroyed by PC users. <laughs> and uh, I don't blame them there. PC, you guys are a different breed when it comes to certain games. So I don't blame him for feeling that, them at all, for feeling that way, you know. But I'm excited for this. Tell me what you guys, what you guys think down in the comment section below. Are you guys excited for this tournament, and do you hope there will be more? Because I hope there will be more. 
I want to see people host tournaments, really. Other than this way for EA, host your own little tournaments for fun. PSN cards, Xbox cards, I don't know, Steam cards. Have your own little fun and do it, you know? And, uh, yeah, we gotta come together as a community for this game and make it even bigger than what the devs are already doing. You know? I think that's very important. Show the devs that we love this game and we don't have to wait on them to have tournaments. You know? So, that's the thing, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing. I might even try to host one over there on my channel eventually. Over on Twitch. I might post it here on YouTube. I might just start doing more streams over here on YouTube. I'm thinking I'll like, enjoy doing it on Twitch though, because I can record. Like, I was streaming while I was doing this right now. Like, what I'm doing here in this clip you're seeing, this match, I was streaming today on Twitch and I was able to save this clip while still being on Twitch through my PlayStation 4, so that made me very happy. I can't do that on PlayStation. So, if you guys are wondering, well, why is that on YouTube no more lately? Well, that's why. I do upload my streams on YouTube. I'll export them up to my YouTube, but I'm not. As far as streaming goes, I think I'll leave that to Twitch. I have a lot more fun on Twitch, a lot more freedom to say and listen to what I want. I interact better and it's better for me to upload videos and content for you guys over here on the channel, you know? But, yes, let me know what you guys think down in the description box below. And with that, Haruki comes out. Peace. Nice.